As Charles Scribner Jr. said, reading is a means of thinking with another person's mind. It forces you to stretch your own. I've dwelled into the novels, turtled all the way down, The Fault in Our Stars, and Tuesdays with Murray to find a significant link between their characters and the message they leave the readers with. Turtles, Turtles All the Way, Way Down, Down by John, by John Green, Green is a story about a 16-year-old girl, Aza Holmes, Holmes, who goes through life, life constantly battling with intrusive thoughts and compulsive behavior. behavior. She, suffers she suffers from a from mental, mental illness, illness, but, but somehow finds, finds a way to fit in. As the, as the story progresses, progresses Aza, Aza discovers more about, about herself and realizes, and realizes that she has to accept herself for who she is and learn to see herself outside of her struggles, which is something that really stood out for me. She says, she says, the thing, the thing about, about a spiral, a spiral is, is, if you if follow, you follow it, inward, it inward, it never actually ends. ends. It, just it just keeps, keeps tightening, tightening infinitely. infinitely. Green, Green really forced, forced me to focus on her character and dive into her mind. mind. Being, Being someone, someone who suffers, suffers from anxiety, anxiety I can I easily relate, relate to her character. character. I've learned I've quite a bit on how she deals with it and how she's able to cope, which is definitely something I can use going forward. Green, Green has a way of making, making the characters in his novels very relatable, relatable, even if their circumstances, circumstances aren't quite like yours. Like in the novel, The Fault in Our Stars, Hazel, Hazel Grace Lancaster, Lancaster and Augustus, Augustus Waters are both characters who suffer from cancer, cancer but find purpose, purpose, love and hope in a situation that seems as if there is none. She battles with the thought that her parents won't be able to live life after her death. But after, but after the experience, the experience she shared with Augustus, his, his death, and the love they shared, shared, she realizes that not all pain is the same. same. He left, he left her a note, note, and in the and note in the were the words, the words I, got I got my, my wish, wish, I suppose. I left, I left my, my scar. scar. Even, Even though, though his words, words had left her hurt, it, it was something, was something that, that she wouldn't trade in for the world. world. I think, I think that, that the, the characters, characters in this novel are really forced to confront death in ways, ways that many of us aren't. Tuesdays with, with Mario by Mitch, by Mitch Albin, Albin really emphasizes, really emphasizes the importance on what truly matters, matters in life. life. One of One the main, main characters, characters Mari Swat, the ex-professor of Mitch Albin, is dying of ALS, also known as amyotrophic lateral cirrhosis. And when, and when Mitch, Mitch learns the news, he makes means, means to get in contact with Murray. And during, and during their time, their time together, together, he realizes, realizes that, that life isn't, isn't all about materialistic things, things success, success or work, work but, rather but rather love, love and selflessness. And selflessness. So, many so many people walk around with meaningless life. life. This, is this is because, because they, they chase, chase the wrong things. things. The, way the way you get, you get meaning into, into your life is to devote yourself to loving others. Devote, devote yourself, yourself to your community, community around you. And devote, and devote yourself, yourself to creating something that gives you purpose and meaning. He says, the truth, the truth is, is, once, once you, learn you learn how, how to die, die you learn, learn how, how to live. live. Which, Which is so profound because, because, because it's not until, until you accept, accept the possibility of your own death, death that, you that you can truly appreciate what it is to live and be alive. He chooses to use what's left of his life to teach, to teach others, others how, how to live it to the fullest. What really what resonated, resonated with me were the words, were the words of character Mari. If you hold, if you hold back on your emotions, if you don't, don't allow yourself to fully go through, through them, them, you can you never can get, get to being detached. detached. You're too you're busy too being afraid. afraid. You're afraid you're of pain. pain. You're afraid of the grief. You're afraid of the vulnerability that loving entails. I think that's something I definitely saw in Hazel's character. She was so afraid, so afraid of what would happen after her death and the impact it would have on the people around her and her parents that she stopped living for herself. She let what was left of her life go to waste. It was not until she accepted her fate and started living and exploring again that she felt true fulfillment. Something that also really stood out for me in all three books was the importance of growth. I've learned that, that it's, it's not, not your circumstances, circumstances that define your outcome, but rather how you how face you the challenges, challenges and how you can grow from, from them. them. That's, That's definitely, definitely something, something that I can take with me going, going forward in life. life.